What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this ranked Venusaur team right here. So if you are excited, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who has supports the channel. This team right here was built by me and my boy Chase did help me out. So Chase, thank you so much. I made the EV spread, all that good stuff. Sent it over to him. He built the team, sent the team back to me. So seriously, thank you so much. This team right here is a Venusaur Sun team right here. All these Pokemon work well in the drought. Besides the Mimikyu and Rotom, we're going to need some coverage Pokemon. So I added them instead. But this Venusaur right here, he is our main focus. He has Black Sludge as an item to heal up a little bit. If we get the Max Overgrowth as well, that'll be double little heal up. So that can be very, very good. That is why I put the Black Sludge on him. He has Chlorophyll to double his speed in the sun, which is going to be nice. He hits like a truck. And then once we get that double speed, he'll be able to outspeed everybody and just dominate. He has Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb. Sleep Powder and Energy Ball, a nice little stab move set with Sleep Powder as well. We got the Whimscott to set up the Tailwind and Sunny Day as well. He's going to be there to set up the Sun and the Speed Boost with the Tailwind. We have the Torkoal, who's going to be slow, work well in a Trick Room, and, he, and his ability is Drought. He can just get out there, send out the Drought, and do some work. He also has Charcoal as his item to do more damage with fire moves. We have Charizard. Obviously, you got to have Charizard if you have a Sun Squad. He is not Gigantamax. The reason I did not make him Gigantamax is so he we have another way of setting the Sun or the Drought in the game. So if we had Gigantamax, we couldn't set the Sun. So I did not go with that option. I made him regular. We can set the Drought that way. He has his normal moveset with Solar Beam, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and Protect. And I gave him a Charty Berry so he can eat up a Rock move. One thing I would change about this team right here is giving that Charizard, instead of Blaze ability, give him that Solar Power. He, he works way better in the Sun with Solar Power. So that's one thing I would want to change about this team. And then in the final two spots we have Mimikyu and Rotom for low coverage moveset. Mimikyu has his normal moves with Play Rough, Shadow Claw, and Trick Room with Protect. Trick Room so we can counter Trick Rooms or set it if we have to. Rotom over here with like a little bit of protective set. He has Ally Switch, Thunderbolt for stab, Reflect to help us against physical attackers, and will o -Wiz. I did not give him a water move considering the Drought is going to be going most of the match so I don't want to neglect some water damage with the Drought so I just gave him Reflect instead to kind of help our defense a little bit. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself, front the code is at the bottom of the screen. Let me know how you do with it. Also, let me know for question of the day, what do you guys think of the new season so far? Like, so far, I'm loving it. I'm love, I love seeing, like, all the new Pokemon and seeing how it's changing up the meta a little bit. So let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's try to get some wins with this ranked Venusaur team in ranked double battles. Match number one on its way. I feel like we're going up against one of the new Pokemon that is going to be taken over to meta. A G-Max Lapras right here is phenomenal. One of the best Pokemons in this new season, in my opinion. They are so tough to play up against. Hopefully, we can get this win up against it. But I don't know. I don't know. It's G-Max move just sets in a War Veil, and it hits as a Max Hailstorm. So, it's really, really good. It's really strong. I feel like he's going to lead it and Dynamax right off the bat. Do I go after him? Turn one? I mean, I know I'll outspeed. For sure, for sure. He might go out Creme in the Lapras. Or maybe try to set a Trick Room. Hmm. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I could go... Let's go Venusaur. I definitely want to go Venusaur so I can drop a Max Overgrowth on that thing. But it might just be able to dump on me. Like, that is just the, the worst part. That is just the worst part. It just hits so hard. We go Whimsicott. We go Whimsicott. Yeah, let's go Whimsicott. Let's go Whimsicott here, and then we can go bump, 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 Charizard. And in the final spot, do I want? I think I want Rotom Wash here. Yeah, Rotom Wash definitely has that water coverage against that T-Tar and that Scorch the right there. And we have the Electric for the Lapras and the Corviknight, so I feel like that's a great option. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. If you haven't checked me out on Twitch yet, what are you guys doing? Link in the description below. Go follow me. Turn on notifications. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. I'd love to see you guys there. Okay, um... Who's he leading? He's got to be leading the Lapras. No, the Alcreme and the Corviknight get to lead. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I can drop a Sleep Powder. I can do a lot for me. I can totally do a lot for me. I could set the Sun. Do I set the Sun just to get that speed boost? Or how should I roll out here? He has the pressure. He's exerting pressure. I could start Max Uzin, which could be tight dice. It could be tight dice. I could Sleep Powder. I think I'm going to Dynamax and just go straight for Max Uzin, get that boost, that special attack boost. And then... Ba -ba -ba -bum. Is it a Tailwind or a Taunt? Tailwind or a Taunt here? Hmm. That could totally... Ta no, Taunt doesn't affect cool though, does it? Actually, yeah, it does, but... I think I'm just gonna go for a Sunny Day here. Yeah, because we'll double our speed with the Sunny Day. Let's do that. Let's go into the Sunny Day here. It'll actually help us out later as well. And then we can eventually set up the Tailwind. 
Well, here goes, goes our Dynamax. I know we're not going to take out the Alcarina with this uh, Max Boost, but I just want to get this special Attack Boost for my Venusaur. Because then we can have speed. We can also beat a lot of these Pokemon in the Sun and the Tailwind. That'll be like double, double speed. That'd be insane. And then we can absolutely just die over here with the special Attack Boost. And I can set the Overgrowth to get the double heal from the Sludge and the Overgrowth. Let's see what happens. He's going to go for a Protect. Corviknight Protects. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. What did you think we were going for? What are you double protecting here? Sunny Day pops here. That's totally fine. And he goes for the Protect. Like, we're not even attacking him. We're going for this Ooze. I feel like two Oozes should be able to take out the South Carolina, Unless it decorates itself. But I think Decorate just boosts attack, right? Let's go. Big damage there. Look at that. Venus are coming up big. We have that Sunny Day. Here. And then we have the Special Attack boost as well. I can set up the Tailwind next turn and guarantee me out speeding. I'll come goes for entertainment. It fails. What what were you trying to do there? What were you trying to do, my dude? Um, I could go for an overgrowth, but mm, I'd rather just boost my I'd rather just boost here. So let's go here. And then we can go for a moon blast. I don't know, should we go for a moon blast or just set up the tailwind? Where do we just set up the tailwind? Hmm, how should we play this one? I know we have a speed advantage all day. All day here. I could taunt the Corvo. Force it go into it an attack. Is this set up too too well? Or I could I'm gonna set up a tailwind and then eventually swap my wind scott into maybe my Charizard. Because then we can have the tailwind and the sun and just be running things. Just be running things. I'm a big fan of this team. I am a big fan of this sun team right here. Especially Venusaur makes it now. Like it's just a, another option to make your sun team so much stronger, considering this thing has core fill as its ability to double its speed in the sun. It's phenomenal. We have two plus two on special attack. That is enormous. That is enormous. And it's on our Wimscott as well. And Wimscott is a special attacker. Wimscott sets up a tailwind. Good thing I did set up the tailwind. I guarantee my Venusaur out speeding. Because we have the sun and the tailwind. But what's he gonna go into now? I think I just want to keep my Wimscott in, as it is plus two. So Moonblast could be nice. He's probably gonna set an Aurora Veil, so I'm doubling into this thing. I gotta double into this. Let's go overgrowth. And then I could just go for a Moonblast. Because we had to double into it, do some big damage to it. I mean, after it strikes, it might actually be able to take me out in one shot, which is the scary part. Which is very scary. With a G Max, what is it, Resonance? That's his new G Max move. Well, not new G Max move, but it's not legal in this. Is it G Max? Like, I'm telling you guys, it is very, very strong. It's very strong Pokemon. Oh no, he maxes the Corvo. He maxes the Corvo Knight, which is totally fine by me. He's gonna go for air to try to boost his speed. That is totally fine by me. I have a Rotom and the what's called in the back end. I have a Rotom and a Charger in the back end. But look at this big damage coming out from this uh, G Max Overgrowth. Look at that. Plus two special attack. Takes him out in one shot. And we get the terrain. We get the grassy terrain and the black sludge. I feel like we should be able to eat up this, uh, this, what's it called? This airstream coming in. Boom blast pops. That's a decent amount of damage for a not very effective move. With that plus two. And we do drop its uh, special attack, but he's physical attacking. So that's fine. Airstream pops. Should be able to eat this one up with my Venusaur. Yeah, all day, baby. All day. I'm going to outspeed. I can put that thing to sleep. I can put that thing to sleep now, which is gonna be wonderful. I'm gonna drop the things, uh, not drop anything. I'm gonna put it to sleep and then be able to do some work with my women's got on the other side. We might be able to sweep here. We might be able to sweep here, depending on what his fourth and final Pokemon is. I'm telling you, yo, this Venusaur is an absolute beast. It is T-Tar. Um, how should I roll here? I feel like a Moon Blast should be fine. I don't know if we can outspeed now because there's no sun. I mean, my best bet would be to uh, to actually change the weather again and go into a sleep powder. This is my best bet, hands down. We go into the sunny day, make sure I outspeed and put this Corviknight to sleep because I'm not worried about this T-Tar too much. I'm not really worried about this T-Tar too much. Sunny day comes here, no more sandstream, get out of my face, and hopefully we can connect with the sleep powder. Come on, baby, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Bruh. Bruh. This game stinks! This game stinks! No! Just ruined everything I wanted there. Just absolutely ruined everything. Really, I dude, I had a feeling it was gonna miss. Now it's T-Tar and his Corvette I have a nice speed advantage here. That is whack. That is whack. All I wanted to do was put that thing to sleep and we would have been chilling. Iron Head pops out here. We should be able to eat. Yeah, we do eat. That is so whack. That is so whack. Who do we go into from here? Um, bum, 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 Rotom, or I could set up a Reflect here, and then potentially put Burns up. 
That could be good because both these are physical attackers and then my Charizard could kind of come in here and be able to do some work. So let's do that. Let's go into a Reflect turn one. And then I could just uh, Moonblast over on the T-Tar. Yeah, let's talk a Moonblast over on this thing. Hopefully we outspeed the T-Tar. I don't know if we are. I don't think we're outspeeding the Corviknight and the Corviknight might just dump me here. Let's see what happens because I would love to get this Moonblast off as we are plus two on the special attack board. But dude, our Phoenix were absolutely dominated so far. Had a nice big double kill, boosted special attack twice. If it would have got off that uh, that sleep powder, that would have been even better. But big, look at that, look at that, look at that. Big moon blast comes through, plus two. That was because of the Venusaur. Takes out that T-Tar. We're kind of chilling here. We're kind of chilling. Max Airstream goes to my Whimsicott. Nope, my Rotom. My Rotom needs set up. We'll be able to set up a Reflect. We have T-Bolt. I can burn this as well. Kind of roll up from there. That was a crit. That was a crit. Match one's looking very good for us, dude. The Venusaur. Oh, my lord. Oh my lord, let's go. Let's go. Reflect pops. Big reflect. Uh, how should I roll out here? I could taunt this thing. Or I could set up a tailwind. I mean, tailwind's not really gonna matter here. He has that plus speed. That plus three speed. So it's just like, bruh. No need for us to set up a tailwind. I'm just gonna actually burn this thing right here. And then I'm going to actually just start throwing moon blasts into it. Moon blast! Get him! Get him! We have our Charizard in the back end. We are totally chilling. Easy match number one. Go ahead, set up your tailwind. It's not gonna be able to do a lot of damage as we have to reflect, and I'm putting this burn on him, which burn halves physical damage, which is nice. Moon Blast comes through. Dude, that is still a ridiculous amount. That is still a ridiculous amount of damage. Come on, Whimsicott. Like, come on. Come on, my dudes. Let's get it. Quivernet gets the burn. And now I think a T-Ball and a Moon Blast is just gonna end this game. We might actually lose, so. Do I taunt? I feel like I taunt here. I feel like I go T-Bolt into a taunt so he doesn't roost. We kind of call this one early so we don't have to waste out turns by him just roosting and all that. Yeah, get taunted, my boy. You're not roosting. You're not going for a roost. Let's see it. Now he goes for an Iron Head. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Wow, did we eat that one up as well because of the Reflect and the Burn. T-Bolt comes out, ends the match. Let's get it. Match one in the bag. Venusaur. MVP. That was... Amazing. I'm glad we got to show him off like that. He had two kills, boosted that special attack, and just owned that match up. Match number two on its way. Venusaur absolutely dominated that last match. This guy has an instant number team. Has a Frost Moth as well. And a Draco's ult. He has a decent team right here. Decent team. Who am I going to lead? I could definitely see him leading that instant war. Totally see him leading that instant war. How do I want to go in with this? Definitely Whimsicott. I got to take this speed advantage from him. Let's go Whimsicott. I don't, I want to bring the Venusaur in the back end. I feel like he can do work in the back. So we're going to go Whimsicott into ba ba bum ba bum Hmm. Do I go Rotom? Do I go Rotom? I could set up Reflex, all that good stuff. Put Burns on Pokemon. Hmm. I said we go Rotom. I said we go Rotom to kind of get us started here. Bring Venusaur in the back end and then in the final spot, either Charizard or Mimikyu. How do I want to do this? I mean, Mimikyu's pretty good here. Mimikyu's not too shabby. Let's go with the Mimikyu here. Let's go with the Mimikyu. Even though... Hmm. You know, Charizard will be tight. Nice. How do I want to do this? I'm going to go Mimikyu. I'm going to go Mimikyu. Considering you guys seen plenty of Charizard in Sun teams. Like, it's just... It's just all over the place. So, like, you guys seen plenty of that. Let's show off this Mimikyu and try to do this. The Sun's only going to benefit the Venusaur this game. But I feel like we can still pull out off a win. But, dude, that Venus were absolutely dominated last match. I'm surprised he didn't go with the G-Max Lapras. That is crazy strong. Like, if you guys haven't seen that yet, it is insane. But he goes Incineroar into the Frost Moth, which is totally fine by me. I can Thunderbolt that, and I can set up a Reflect and Burn. It's fine. We're chilling. I'm going to set up a Reflect turn one, and I'm going to... Do I set the Sunny Day? I really don't want to set the Sunny Day right here. I think I'm going to go into a uh, Tailwind. And then just drop a nice little little reflect here. Go reflect. He might go parting shot or something along those lines. Since then we're fixed out. He's so annoying. So annoying, dude. He's so good though. Then we get set up. I'll be able to set up a reflect next turn. Which will be fine. And what is this thing gonna go for? Frostball's gonna go for a tailwind of its own. Alright, that's totally fine. I feel like my Rotom might be able to outspeed us in Cinnor. Unless he's uh EB'd into all that other good stuff. I'm just gonna drop a moon blast over on the frost moth as I can see it being sash. And then set up a reflect and potentially go into a T-Bolt next turn. Let's see what happens. Moon Blast flies. Yeah, I can definitely see this thing stash. Let's see how much damage we do. Just a little bit. 
reflect pops off here just so that Incineroar doesn't do too much damage. Is he gonna go for a parting shot? He is gonna go for a parting shot. That hunk is junk, dude. He's gonna drop our special attack. Parting shot's so good. So good. Considering he drops our special and physical attack and then gets out of here and then is able to pivot back, go for an intimidate and another fake out and another parting shot. Pivot again, just keep going, rinse, repeat. Opscreen pops out here. We have a reflect, reflect set up. Uh, do we think this thing is guts? He's kind of set up pretty well here. I have to set up the sun. I have to set up the sun for sure. Let's turn. Let's go with the sun and then, uh, ba -ba -bum. how do I want to roll here? I think it's leftover. It's not Sash. I don't want that thing to be guts. He is guts. Okay. Dang it. Okay, we have the reflect up. Let's go for the sunny day and then drop off that, uh, I could ally switch. Or I could swap. Can I get my Rotom back? I mean, I really don't want my Rotom as much anymore. He's kind of not really beneficial to us. But I'm actually just going to drop a nice little T-Bolt over on the Frost Swap. And it's not super effective to him. That is so weird. That is so weird. It, like, doesn't it look like Thunderbolt should be super effective to that Frost Swap? Like, come on. I totally thought it was. But it's not. Knockoff's going to fly through. Going to take off my Wiki Berry. Not my Wiki Berry. T-Bolt flies through. It's not going to do too, too much to this thing. Look at that. Poo-poo damage. I thought it was super effective. Icy Wind's just going to keep slowing us down. That's totally fine. I have the Sunny Day set up. And once I'm able to get out my other mods here, we should be able to get, be chilling here. So now we're going to go into the Venusaur. We're going to D-Max him, get rolling from there. We have our Mimikyu in the back end. But I think we're just fine. I think we're just fine. Let's get it. This thing is Guts, dude. Obscure Guts is so good. Same thing with Conkledor Guts. It just hits like a truck. Um, I could put Pokemon to sleep. I could just go Mimikyu. Let's just go Venusaur here. Let's just go Venusaur. I got Dynamax him. He's a beast. He's a beast. We'll be able to drop some oozes out here. We'll drop the max ooze on the... Who do I ooze up on? I say I ooze up on the Frost Moth here. Start trying to get that thing out. Actually, I'm not too worried about the Frost Moth. I have Ice Beam, but... Other than that, I say we go after his Obsidian. And then I say we just ally switch. Yeah, I say we just ally switch here in case he wants to go for a knockoff on me and maybe an ice beam. We kind of neglect it over to the, the Rotom for a turn. Get the special attack boost, roll off from there. Get the Mimikyu out there. Mimikyu's going to be able to do some big damage as well. A big boy Venusaur. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, Venusaur. Big boy, dude. He's huge. He's thickums. He's a thickums, dude. I'm going to drop a little bit of ally switch here. That, this is why I put it on him. I think it works out very nice and throws some people off. We're just gonna drop a max ooze. We get that speed advantage. I don't know how much damage we're gonna do. Decent amount, decent amount for a max ooze, and we get that special attack boost as well. The only thing I'm worried about is that Incineroar, really. And he's gonna go for a knockoff, like I said, due to ally switch worked well. Rotom survives, can he eat up another shot? Icy Wind's gonna pop just to slow us down a little bit, and Rotom eats another turn. That's tight, nice. Rotom does eat another turn. Our speed does drop, but I still feel like we outspeed here. I still feel like the speed is fine. Um, I'm not going to ally switch this turn. I feel like he's going to predict it, so I feel like we're chilling here. I feel like I'm going to drop a, a, uh, a what's it called? Oh, Tailwind feed out both sides. So we should still have the speed advantage. I feel like I drop a T-Bolt over here to try to potentially get the, the Paralyze on him and drop another Max Ooze over on the Obscune in order to get the special attack boost. And take out the Obscoon as well. Max Ooze flying here. Now my face, boy. Built. See you later. Obscoon's gone. Get him out of here. He's probably setting up, setting up another Tailwind, which is scary. But now my Obscoon, or not my Obscoon. My Rotom's plus one on special attack, I believe. Let's see how we go here. Tailwind's going to fly here. Uh, this is going to be rather scary for when the, what's it called, pops out here. The Incineroar. Because we know the Incineroar's coming out this turn. Let's go. T-Bolt flies through. Tell me to paralyze. Give it to me. Give it up. No paralyze. I'm hoping my Incineroar still is able to outspeed. I mean, I could go for an ally switch as well. Do we think he's going to predict the ally switch? Mmm. It's going to be tough. Because you know he's going Incineroar. You know he's going Incineroar and we're going to have to drop an ooze on this thing. She won Incineroar. But he might be able to eat it up even though he's plus two. It's going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Um, I really do want to go for an ally switch. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. There's no way he's predicting it. 
There's no way. And then we're gonna drop the ooze on the Incineroar. If we can take out this Incineroar, we could be chilling. But he might D max it, which is kind of scary. Because we have the sun for him. Fake out's gonna pop here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. That's honestly fine. We'll get off this max ooze on him. And he's probably just gonna go for another icy win. Because that frost moth is just there to kind of pester everybody. But look how bulky this thing is. That is ridiculous how bulky this thing is. An absolute bulk master right here. He eats his aguav figgy. What berry is he holding? What berry is that? It's an eye papa. It's an eye papa berry. Icy wind's gonna slow us down once again. They're doing a little bit more damage. That's scary, dude. Dropping our speed. And the sun might end here. Actually, this, I don't think the sun will end. I think we have one more turn in the sun. But I think he's gonna take us out. I think he might be able to outspeed us now. Ooh, that's tough news. Reflect wears off as well. Ooh, Mimikyu comes out here. Um, I could roll a trick room. I could definitely roll a trick room. Do I play the trick room? Do I play it? I could do it. I could do it. Seeing that we might be slower now. Trick room play rough. What do I want to go into? I really kind of just want to double into this Incineroar. Get him out the way. Go Shadow Call. Go for the crit. Or we could lower this thing's attack stat as well. I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb. I'm doubling into this Incineroar. We outspeed. Flare Blitz. No, he outspeeds us. There goes my Venusaur. He's gone. No! Man, dude, that Frost Moth. He gets a crit, dude. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, my dude. And he still has a D-Max as well. Which is tough news. Mimikyu's going to go for the play rough. Do some nice damage. Take out the Incineroar here. Um, How are we going to do this? Do we have a chance here? Do we have a chance? Icy Wind flies here. He's going to knock off our... Uh, our disguise and it's gonna drop our speed as well boo boo okay we're chilling I, th I feel like we could potentially win this game depending on who is next minus but he still has a dynamax no more sunlight no that that frost mouth is the mvp for him that frost mouth for sure is that mvp definitely coming up big with this icy wind slowing us down all that good stuff and that instant word with the parting shot was kind of tough. He does go for the Draco Soul. I mean, there could still be a chance. I mean, super effective with the play rough. Could be able to do some big damage. If we do outspeed, but I don't think we're going to outspeed him. He's going to D-Max and maybe drop a Max Wormwind. Or no, he will maybe a Max Lightning. Or Stab. Let's just see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Here goes this D-Max. We knew this was coming. But dude, that Frost Moth was a pain to kind of play up against. I thought... Thunder was super effective, to be honest. For some reason, like, I don't know why. I guess I was just looking at how he looks. I was just like, okay, he's flying in the air. Thunder's definitely going to give him the march. He's, I should have just brought my Charizard. I should have brought my Charizard here. But he did some work. Let's see what he does. He does outspeed, and a lightning's going to fly through. This might be able to KO us. Let's see. Yep, GG. Go. We are 1-1 one one with this team. We're going to hop into our third and final battle with this squad and try to get a winning record. I feel like we can. I feel like Venusaur is going to clutch it up next match for us and get us that win. So we are now sitting 1-1 one one with this team, hoping to get a third battle victory. Guys, if you are hanging out with me in a third battle, give me a little bit of hashtag Venusaur squad in the comment section down below. I would love to know who hangs out and watches the videos all the way through. But he has a rain squad here. I'm going to go Whimsicott. He might lead that Pelper, but I can always switch the sun right off the rip there. Go Venusaur as well in case he wants to lead one of those uh, water Pokemon. Yeah, that Toxicroak who's kind of scary. That's Toxicroak who is kind of scary. He, I mean, he only has two water Pokemon with the Barrascuta and the, and the Pelper. I'm going to go Charizard here. And then in the final spot, I'm going to go Mimikyu. I'm going to go Mimikyu to kind of neglect some of that Flygon right there. I think we're going to roll out with this squad. Come on, baby. I'm going to get a winning record with this team. Get dominating with that Venusaur. That last match was just kind of tough. That Frost Moth was tough. He was tough. He had the Tailwind set up. We didn't really have anything to counter him too, too much. I thought Electric would counter him, but no. But no, he was able to set up the Tailwind, slow us down, and then Incineroar kind of came in here, did his work. He's an absolute beast. He's so good. He goes Toxic Croak Pelipper here, which is fine by me. It's totally fine by me. Because I'm going to just change the sun right here. Just change the weather here. You can set the drizzle if you want. That's totally chilling. Max Croak flies out here. Uh, bu bu how do I want to roll here? How do I want to roll? Definitely set the sunny day. Say no more rain. Cause he, he might just be going for a hurricane here. I could put somebody to sleep before I do D-Max. I could put somebody to sleep before I do D-Max. Like, it could be this Pelper. It could be this Pelper. Cause you know he's going to try to land a hurricane. 
Or I could swap. Or I could swap. Hmm. I'm actually gonna fight. I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna max use. I'm gonna start boosting our special, uh, I'm gonna start boosting our special defense here. Or not, oh, not special defense, special attack. Get that boosted up. Here goes our D max. Let's go. No more rain for him as well. So I feel like he's gonna try to go for a hurricane here. Because it's 100% in the rain. But we're just gonna switch up the weather. Be chilling from there. And then I could, uh, I could set up a tailwind to guarantee our speed for a later Pokemon instead of just my Venusaur. Let's go. Let's go. What you want, fool? What do you want? And I know that that Toxic Croak is probably dry skin. Ooh! He's D-maxing that boy. Or are you D-maxing the Pelp and going for some airstreams? Who are you D-maxing, my dude? It is the Pelipper, dude. It is this Pelipper. He's going for some airstreams here. My boy's going for some airstreams. Leave me alone. You never see a D-max Pelipper. What is this? What is this? Toxtrick goes for a fake out. Oh, is he trying to take out this sunny day here? That would be crazy. That would be insane if he does this. That would be so smart. Go for my Venusaur, please. I need this sunny day. I need this sunny day. This would foil my whole plan. He goes for an airstream over my Venusaur? No! No! Bro, we have nothing else to set the sun. We have nothing else to set the sun for us. And we cannot get a tailwind now. We gotta dig ourselves out of this hole now. We have to dig ourselves out of this hole. I can't go Charizard here. I mean, I could go for an air slash. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm just gonna go Mimikyu. I'm gonna go Mimikyu here. This is tough. This is tough that he did that. That he had fake out and he went for the D-Max with the Pelipper. Like, that, that was the last thing I was expecting. Um, I could go Shadow Claw, could go Protect, play rough. And yeah, we're gonna play rough across on this Toxic Croak. And then I'm gonna go for an Overgrowth over on this Pelper. That's what go for the KO. I think we maybe could pick this up. Let's see what happens. Poison Jab's gonna fly through. Take off our Disguise. Hopefully it doesn't poison us. Of course. Like, dude, of course. Of course! I said it. I said it. I was like, hopefully it doesn't poison us. And what would you know? Poisons us. Get out of my face, dude. Max Guy's just gonna fly through. Over on my Mimikyu. Probably KO him. Jeez, who would have thought? Who would have thought I would be getting run by a Max G Max Pelper? Not G Max Pelper, a D Max Pelper. This is ridiculous. Overgrowth pops here. I'm not saying this match is even over yet. I think we're kind of chilling. Because this should be able to KO. Yeah, okay, so he KOs here. We saw over Charizard. We're gonna crit, baby. What you want? What you want? We're gonna set up this grassy terrain. I feel like the Barracuda is gonna fly through. Barracuda just gotta come out here. Some tough news, my dudes. Some tough news. I mean, I do have Protect on my boy. I could Protect and dump on the Barracuda. It could be a call. That could be a bold call here. Venusaur's not too worried about the rain. He, he thrives there. He thrives. He's just chilling here. And here we go. We have the grassy terrain out. He goes Flygon. He goes Flygon, which is fine by me. I'm going to drop a nice little Air Slash over on the Toxtroke. You know what? I'm going to go for this Overgrowth on you. I can see it's taking maybe getting a double kill here. Let's see what happens here. Poison Jab flies through. We eat that up all day. Leave me alone. Don't you dare poison me. Thank the Lord. Air Slash comes through. Yeah, yeet. That's some nice damage over on the Croak. Almost takes him out. That was that was very close. Air Slash is going to come through on me. We're going to eat that up. We have our Sludge coming through. And our, what's it called? And our Grassy Terrain. So, Batch isn't even over yet. We have our big guns out right here. Big damage flies here. Takes out the Flygon. Let's get it. Terrain's popping. It really depends who he goes into here. It really depends who he does go into. Dry Skin's going to give him some HP here. And the Grassy Terrain as well. I really am curious to who he's going to go into here. I'm scared. Is this the Barrascuda? If it's the Barrascuda, we're going to have to play the Protect game. Got him roll out from there. Who is it? Did he not bring the Barrascuda? Like, that'd be weird. No, he did bring the Barrascuda. So here it is. Coming down to the last limb here. We have our boy Venusaur who's plus one. We, get, we got some HP back. Um, I got to protect, right? I got to protect. And I have to go for a Giga Drain. And I have to go for a Giga Drain. Let's get it. We have to one-tap him, get our HP back. Be chilling. He's got to go for a liquidation into my Charizard. Let's see what happens here. Let's see, yo. Can we get this going? Protect Pops. Was it the right call? Show it to me, baby. 
What's he going for? Waterfall blocked. This could be good. This could be good. I need my Venusaur to eat up this poison jab. Come on, baby. Eat it up, buddy. We eat it up. Giga Drain pops. We need the KO and this HP. KO comes. We get some mean HP, and we're looking to get this win. Let's get it, yo. Let's get it. That should be game. That should be game. Let's go. I am a god. I am a god. That was awesome. What a play call by me. What a play call by me. We get that protect. I figured my Venusaur could eat. Giga Drain takes out with that plus one special attack. And look at that. We struggled in the beginning. He made a great play, honestly. Dynamax and that Pelipper. To take out my Sunny Day and my Tailwind Pokemon. But dude, Venusaur is just too strong. He is just too strong. He absolutely ran that without the sun. Without the sun. Just by himself. He did all that by himself just by boosting his own stats. Um, I'm, I'm going to put this thing to sleep. I'm going to put this thing to sleep. Just so it doesn't annoy me later. He just cancels the battle. Let's go, GG. Get that winning record. We go 2-1 and one and dominate with this Venusaur team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Venusaur absolutely dominated in battle number one and battle number three. We kind of struggled in battle number two, but it's all right. We came back with that winning record. This team is phenomenal. Once again, Chase, thank you so much for helping me build this team. Goes a long way. I really did like this team. Like I said, the only thing I would change would be give solar power to that Charizard. But all in all, this team is phenomenal. Venusaur is an absolute beast. Legit dominates you can set up the sun and we just showed he doesn't really need the sun he can kind of roll out on his own and do some work from there but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everyone